Hello, beautiful people. I'm so excited to do this video because I'm a lover of glitter nails. Oh, Yinka here, by the way. First of all, let me introduce myself. Hi. I'm a lover of glitter nails. I've been getting glitter nails for seven years now. I'm 28. I've been getting it since I was 21. And it's super duper fun for me. I used to go to a nail tech. It was super amazing. She did a great job of my nails. At the end of the relationship, I felt like she did not value me as a customer anymore. She got too used to me coming. So I decided not to go anymore. And I tried my own thing. So I decided to just buy my own kit and do my own nails myself. For the past two years, I've been doing my my glitter nails myself yes it is gel I'm a gel lover I love gel because it lasts long I don't like anything that chips off in a couple days I don't have time for that I'm sure you don't have time for that so I'm super duper excited for you to see how I do my glitter gel polishes so all you're gonna need is an LED nail lamp I got from red carpet nails because I got my start okay my starter kit for my gel nail extravaganza was from red carpet nails right because I didn't know anything about which brand is good which brand is bad <laughs> girl do not the only thing red carpet nails has that's good is the lamp do not get their polishes their polishes are terrible it's bad it literally chips off the next day I kid you not when I first started doing it myself I would redo it the following day because it was coming off. And I was like, this is not right. So I went to a brand that I am familiar with only because I would see them use this in a nail salon all the time, not because I'm super experienced and knowledgeable. I found gelish nail polishes at Sally's Beauties. So these, this LED lamp I found in Ulta, but you can definitely get a gelish lamp at Sally's. You don't have to go with red carpet nails. It's just that the, this lamp works. I already had it, so I was like, why not keep it and just swap out the nail polishes, right? Uh, my polishes from Gelish, all my polishes are from Gelish. They're super duper duper good. I'm in love. And then you're also going to need a napkin. I like to do my work on a napkin because then I can wipe, wipe, wipe as much as I want to without any problems at all. You're going to need um, nail filers as well and a cuticle cutter to cut out your cuticles. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. Oh man. Okay, acetone or nail polish remover as well because that you have to clean off your nails prior to putting the polish on and after to wipe off to, to keep it from feeling sticky so it can feel dry. If you wanna see how I did these fabulous things, <laughs> stay tuned. So you want to start off with clean, fresh, fresh nails. I just took off my gel polish. I like to lay a paper towel on the table that I'm working on because I just don't want to get my table all dirty and whatnot. And it's way easier to clean up after doing your nails by taking the paper towel and just throwing it out. Super, duper, duper, duper fresh. Super. You see that length though? You see, you see my length? Yes, girl. Enough babbling, let's get into the action. I like to make my make sure my nail bed is a little filed because this is how you make it last longer. This is crucial because I learned that when I just put it on while my nail bed is smooth, the polish is more prone to coming off in a few days. And I like to wear my gel polishes for two to three weeks. Three weeks, I, yo, I stretch that thing. Sometimes I leave it on for even a month and yes, it'll look like I need a fill in and I do not care, girl. I still keep it that way. And I've never had a problem with this thinning out my nails I know some people think that when you file the top layer of your nails your nails might thin out I've not ever had a problem with this thinning out my nails whenever I take off my gel polish actually my nails are back to looking smooth which is really weird so to each its own do whatever you feel I like to do these four nails at a time so I'm gonna do these nails and then I'm gonna do the thumbs last so I'm just going to go in I'm going in with the pH bond I think it protects the nail I don't know if it makes a difference all I know is ever since I've been doing my gel polish myself it's been working I'm gonna go in with the base coat it's called foundation I'm just gonna go in with that so base coat is on it I'm just going to put it right underneath the LED lamp set that real quick real quick, real quick when I'm doing my glitter nails I like to go in with a base color because that's the best way to get your glitter to really pop your glitter is not really a shade it's just a bunch of glitter you still need a base underneath it so my base of choice is this beautiful bold color oh my gosh I love it Ugh, so good my nails are growing by the way I'm so excited about like having longer nails especially for the spring like 
I wanted long nails for my birthday, but I guess God said not so by having all my nails break off right before my birthday. <laughs> it's all good in the hood. I'm getting them when I guess I'm supposed to have them. Once you put it under the lamp, it's stuck there. So I'm just gonna clean up like right around to get all of that. All the parts that got on my skin right off. And then I'm gonna set it. You see, see how pretty that is? As much as it will be super nice to leave it this way, I'm such a glitter girl, like I glitter everything. You guys know, if you will, if this is not your first time watching my videos and you already know that I love to spray glitter on my body every single time. I literally spray glitter, glitter spray every time I get dressed. I'm just that girl. I've been doing it since high school, I'm not changing. So now for the glitter part, the fun part. So I do one coat of color two coats of glitter. So it's gonna change colors because this is more of a pinky glitter and the, this is like a orange. So it's not gonna look orange at the end of it all. So I'm just gonna do the first coat. I do the first coat regular, even on all sides. And I do the second coat. Kind of put some closer to my skin because I realize I missed some spaces with the color. Just trying to make up for it. <laughs> Well, you see, if you mess up, you can always fix. There's always a way to fix it. Always a way. I'm cleaning it up. Cleaning that sucker right up. See, I just wipe it on the tissue. It's just so much easier that way. It's always good to just have a napkin around to just like wipe it right off. Then I'm gonna cure it real quick because then we're gonna do a second coat. Now for the second coat. When I do the second coat, I like to keep most of the glitter close to like the edge, the top edge of the nail right over here because I like it to look like almost like a gradient effect of super duper glittery to a little bit less glitter at the end, at this part. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not a professional, so it does what it does. So what? I still try every time. <laughs> I'm trying to like fill these spaces in. For the second coat of glitter, I pay a lot more attention to because after this, it's just the top coat. So really gotta be as close to perfect as possible. Don't ever worry about the mess because you can always clean that off. That should not be a worry. Just worry about what's on the actual nail. Don't worry about what gets on your skin too, too much. And then of course I clean it off as usual. It's a little, <gasps> oh my gosh. See what I just did? I stained it on my, oh my gosh. I'm just gonna try to put it right back on. Like mistakes happen, you just gotta roll with the punches and figure it out, girl. I'm just gonna try to smooth that over the brush. Ugh, a hot mess. Thank God this is glitter. If this was like regular polish, it would have looked the messiest of messes. I'm gonna set that. Any other messes I have, I'm just gonna, girl, I'm, I'm just gonna take it off in the shower. Now for the top coat, you cure it. When it comes to the top coat, I like to cure it twice. So I cure it one time, and then I go back in again a second time. Probably about like two minutes, because I think once one go is like 60 seconds or something like that. Clean it off with acetone or nail polish remover. I'm not, whatever. Nail polish remover, acetone. I don't remember what this is, but I'll show it to you guys later because I can't even remember. But you clean it right off so that it's not super sticky or anything. And you can touch it now, it's safe to touch. What I didn't do with these nails, I didn't do it with these nails, but I'm gonna do it with these nails, is right before you start, you're supposed to wipe it down. I totally forgot to wipe it down, but now I remember. <laughs> to decrease any mess or anything that might be lingering. So I'm gonna do this hand off camera and then I'm gonna come back to you to do my thumbs. I'm gonna do my thumbs on camera, but I'm gonna do these four off camera because the same exact thing I did over here. I don't wanna be too repetitive. I'm running out of this, so I have it leaning over so most of it could... <laughs> the ghetto, the ghetto of it all. I gotta let it lean so that I have some left to use when it's time to use it, but okay. Let's get right into the thumbs. I'm gonna use the pH bond as usual. I do the thumbs last. The foundation, I do the thumbs one by one. It has to be done one by one because, girl, it will be a hot mess. And then I'm going in, of course, with the base coat as usual. Yes, girl. Ooh, it's sliding down, so sometimes I shake it to like, or I hold it like this in an angle to make it slide back to the edge of the nail. I like to keep 
most of my polish at the edge of the nail. That's very important to me in order to keep my nails from breaking, in order to keep it thick, like it nice and thick at the edge of the nails. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more just to keep the thickness. The goal is thick. Okay, and I cure it, of course. And of course, we're going in with the wonderful glitter. Cure it, of course. So yeah, this is the second coat. Ow, eh, 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 ow. I've done this color combo so many times that I'm not like super duper hype about it. The gold that I do gets me hype. The gold gets me hype. The silver, silver rhinestones get me super duper hype. Like. You know what I'll do? I'll probably do the rhinestones next. I'll show you how I do rhinestone nails. That takes so long, but it's so worth it. Like, completely worth it. So beautiful. The top coat, of course. The nail polish remover slash acetone, whatever that is. And then I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna prep my other thumb, and I'll be right back, because I'm doing the exact same thing. I don't wanna be repetitive, as you already know, so I'll be right back with all my nails done. Thank you so very much for watching my video. This is my first time, okay, actually this is not my first, I'm such a DIY girl that, I wanna post more DIY stuff, because, I'm such a DIY girl, it's not like you'll be surprised the amount of things that I just do on my own instead of going to get somebody to do it because I trust myself and I trust that I will do it to my best ability unlike others. <laughs> if you want me to share more DIY stuff or stuff that I do on my own, let me know. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I love you. God loves you. Thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe. And don't you watch my other videos right over here, somewhere. I don't know. I don't know. Somewhere over here. All right, bye. <laughs>